for the AP view of the knee, we will be using a cassette, which we also could do uh, using a book here. And we will use the calipers, which is a tool to measure the thickness of the pelvis. How we usually do that? We palpate the ASIS, and the distance will be measured from ASIS to the table. In our case, the distance is less than 19 centimeters, which means that we do not have to uh, angle the tube up or uh, we do not have to keep it perpendicular. When the pelvis is thin, which is less than 19 centimeters, we are going to angle the tube 3 to 5 degrees cold out. If the distance was more than 19, more than 24 centimeters, we will be angling cephalic 3 to 5 degrees. And when it's between 19 to 24, we keep it straight perpendicular. So in our case, it will be 3 to 5 cold out. We place the cassette under the knee. We make sure that the femoral contours are parallel to IR. Our central range where we enter in half inch distal to the apex of the cavity. Don't forget to collimate. and use the marker. Never forget to do the shielding. So for the lateral position of the knee, we turn the patient towards the affected side. We bring the other leg forward to make sure the patient has a support. This way we also see that the knee, the affected knee is in a true lateral position. How we can see that the patella is perpendicular to the table. The knee is flexed 20 to 30 degrees. Place the IR under the knee. Still keeping sure the patella is perpendicular to the IR. We angle the tube 5 to 7 degrees cephalic. We can adjust the alignment of the upper and the tube so we have a beautiful image. Calibrate and put your marker. The next view will be shown is a tunnel view that is going to be done in patient prone position and we're going to be using a cassette. For the knee we could also use a grid, which is a table blocking method or the tabletop with the cassette. So in our case we are using the cassette. We're going to place it under the knee, center the knee to cassette, flex the leg 50, 40 to 50 degree. Depression. Don't forget to collimate and make sure that femoral condyles are parallel to our cassette. We will be using the marker laterally on the side. So in 
this case, we're going to be doing Sanagas Nara, where we also call it sunrise, or a knee the patella. So the patient is so fine, the patient will be holding the plate, which is the IR in our case, and the knee is flat until we feel that patella is perpendicular to the IR. We're going to be increasing the SID since we have a lot of OID right here. And we will angle the tube a little bit. Don't forget to collimate 